<laughs> no, baby. I may be especially for you, dear. Oh, my, 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 my. Don't they look delicious? Well, 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 well. What are they? Well, I take two cans of tuna fish and put them through the meat grinder, then add clam juice and peanut butter. It's a recipe I cut out of the Ladies' Home Journal. These others are just plain jack cheese and chutney. Oh, no. Now, sit you down, baby. I have something special to show you. Oh, oh baby pictures <laughs> of Gloria. Well, the whole family, more or less. Oh, uh, 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 on a bare rug, isn't that precious? Better not let Patrick see that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Miss Tuttle, little Glory's first school teacher. I think the light was hurting her eyes. Yep, 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 enough of this girly girly talk, Doris. Now, I thought as long as we had Mamie here, we ought to let her know what the plans are. Oh, what are the plans? For Patrick's I... career. Oh, Dwight Babcock and I have that all coordinated. Uh, when the kiddies return from their honeymoon, I want Patrick to take his choice. You see, with my connections, I can slip him into a berth on Madison Avenue or a seat on the stock exchange. A seat and a berth, my Patrick. Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. Oh, say, Mamie, you're a pretty fast drinker. No. Don't worry, I'm way ahead of you. But, no, I, I, oh, I don't sorry. happen to like gin, do you, Mamie? I I adore it. Good. After dinner, we'll get out the cards and play a little game. Now we come to the problem of what to give the kiddies for a wedding present, and I've got that all settled, too. Thank you. Uh, here's my idea, Mimi. Why don't we get together, you and I, and uh, buy the newlyweds that? Uh, what? Oh, that lot right next door. Wouldn't that make a wedding present, though? We could take out this wall, and their patio would come smack up against ours. You couldn't tell where one left off and the other one began. You wouldn't really be losing a daughter. You'd be gaining a patio. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got to work fast, though. There's some people bidding on that property. Wrong kind. Oh? Yeah, a fellow named Epstein. Abraham Epstein. The cellist? Oh, how lucky you are. All that glorious music right next door. She's a darling. She's one of the nicest women I ever met. Uh, I guess maybe you don't understand uh, quite how it is up here, Mamie. But this section is restricted only up to our property line. So we feel we have an obligation to make sure that, well, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do, Mamie. I'll buy it and we'll just divvy it up 50-50. You won't have to worry about a thing. My, 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 You've thought of everything, haven't you? Laid out Patrick's career, planned the wedding, even chosen my gift. Well, I guess there's only one thing left for me to do. What's that? The very day you get back from Prickly Pines, I'll give an intimate family dinner. Well, how about that? Say, you're a good scout, Mimi. By golly, you're top drawer. <laughs> well, it's a very interesting design, Mr. Christensen, but uh, are you sure you planned it with that end up? Well... That is the beauty of it, madam. It can be used upside down. Hello. Just leave it outside, please. Sorry. You must be Patrick Dennis. Guilty. Are you guilty of all of this? Oh, no, no, I'm not the decorator. I'm your aunt's private secretary, Peggy and Ryan. How do you do? Hello. Uh, sorry, I didn't know. I've been away all summer. Been a lot of changes around here. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to my any name. Where did she dig up this stuff? Oh, this is the only set of its kind in the universe. It's made by the, the famous Danish designer, Yululu. Who? Yule Ulu. You say that to the right fellow and you'll get kissed. Oh, 
Why, incidentally, congratulations. I hear you're getting married next week. Week from next Tuesday. The old ball and chain. Oh, gee, I wish I'd said that. How about the, the first hundred years of the hardest? <laughs> That's a good one. How about um, marriage is a great institution? Yeah, yeah but, but who, who wants, wants to be in an institution? institution? <laughs> 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 well, that's enough of that. Patrick! Patrick, my little love! Oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad to see you, darling. Did you have a good time at Upsy Pines? Here? I had a wonderful time. I'll oh. tell you all about it. Oh. Now, what is the idea? Oh, no, 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 Patrick, I don't want to hear a word out of you. I have to go to Montebank. Doris insisted. Well, that's all right. They adored you, but I mean, why did you I'm change? I'm so relieved. You know, I want everything to be extra special tonight and to give the Upsons as cozy a time as they gave me. Uh, now, Piggy, dear, Ooh, I want... Oh, I forgot the horror. Oh. Would somebody give me a hand with the ladder? Of course, uh, Patrick, uh, the ladder, Piggy. Now, the fish food. Where's the fish food? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Ah, oh, no. uh, 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 now, Agnes, must nibble on the hors d'oeuvre, dear. You'll get fat. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Bernstein. I try to do exactly as you say. Come and get it, come and get it. Come along, come along, come along. That's right, come and get it. You're so wonderful. <laughs> Nobody else would have taken me in, an outcast of society. Oh, twaddle. I'm the grateful one. You've given me a new interest, someone to look after, now that I'm losing Patrick. I wish I had someone to look after. Oh, you will, dear, you will. What do you want this set up? Right there will be fine. Ah. Huh? Oh. Uh... What's that supposed to be, anyway? You don't like it? Well, I think it might be a little avant-garde for the absence. Oh, dear. Piggy, take it right down. I want everything to be perfect for Patrick tonight. I think it's very unusual. Agnes! Oh. What is she doing here? Well, now, where else would she be in her friendless condition? Look, this is one thing the absence simply will not understand. Well, we don't need to talk about it. Perhaps they won't notice. Won't well, notice? They're here. Oh, yes. They're here. Uh, hey, will somebody help me get this down? Uh, uh, help her, darling. Uh, look, look, just leave it up. Get the, uh, get the ladder out of here. No, 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 Ito, somebody answer the door. I'll get it. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 Agnes, Patrick is right, dear. I want you to go to your room and stay there. But what do I do, Mrs. Burnside? Sleep, Agnes, dear. Knit, start making up names. Rudolph, Abigail, Beulah, Clara, anything. <laughs> the Burnside Fireside. Amy! Oh, how I have looked forward to this evening. Come in, come in, dear. And Claw. Well, good to see you, Amy. <laughs> and little Glory. I can't tell you how pleased I am to see you again. Yes, dear. <laughs> dear Bye. Yes. Hey. My, 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 my! Hi, everybody. Well, hello, son. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> Gloria? Say, I made up the best joke on the way up in the elevator. Oh. Hey, hey, listen to this. Why is an elevator man's job like my place in Connecticut? <laughs> Give up? Almost. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Because it has its ups and downs. Yeah, you get it? Ups and downs. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, Doris, oh, you're not comfortable there, dear. The marvelous thing is that these are all adjustable. This is the master control. Each chair has its own cord. Now, let me see, Doris, you are number four. One, two, three, four. Now, here we go. Oh, 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 so sorry, Claude. Now, you are number four. Doris, you must be number five. Annie Mame. Patrick, really, you're confusing me. Now, Doris, here you are, five. Going up. Oops, there we go. Ah. <laughs> Why, isn't it wonderful, Doris? So easy to sweep under. Now, Claude, here we go. Hang on to your seatbelts. Down we go. <laughs> oh, my, what supple legs you have. You must have been studying yogi. Ah, here are the drinks. Oh, Amy! Oh, so sorry, Doris, dear. Ah, there we are, going down to the main floor now. Cigar, cigarettes, lingerie, hardware. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Well, now, Patrick. And little Glory. Oh. And here's Uncle Dwight. What? Dwight! <laughs> well, how are you? Mr. Babcock. Ah, uh, Mr. 
Mrs. Burns. Surprise. You know, we must have that game of golf. Oh, my, 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 my. I'm afraid we're going to have to take that up a bit. Uh, Piggy, you better bring the ladder again. Oh, uh, won't you sit down, Mr. Babcock? Thank you. Yeah. Well, now, they're almost ready in speciality de la maison. Yeah. Oh, oh, I would like you all to meet Miss Piggy and Ryan. How do you do? How are you? Oh, I take it up a bit, dear. It seems to be getting in people's hair. Yeah. Lord. Thank you. And Doris. Well, now, Claude, I am not going to tell you one thing that's in these drinks, because all the ingredients are secret. Oh? No, 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 just hang on. Oh. Well, what do you know? Uh, you see, the trick is to drink them up fast before all the alcohol burns away. <laughs> Uh, don't you worry about a thing now, Claude. I'm fully covered by fire insurance. Nope. Uh, now, Patrick. Uh, and little glory. You know, a friend of mine who may drop in later calls this the flaming maze. Who? Who? Who's going to drop in later oh, on? Just family, darling. But... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 don't you be a scaredy cat, darling. There's nothing to be frightened of whatsoever. There, now. Are we all lit? Uh, Mr. Robson, wouldn't you be happy if I finished no, your no, 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 not for a minute. <laughs> your Aunt Mamie made this for me, and uh, I'm going to drink it. <laughs> no, it looks just fine. Hmm, <laughs> this is spicy. Try one of the little striped ones, Moms. Mm, these are tasty. What are they, dear? Oh, just plain old pickled rattlesnake. <laughs> They're pure protein, and they always marinate them after they remove the fangs. Why, Mr. Babcock, you've gone out. Don't bother, Mrs. Burnside. Oh. Agnes. Agnes. I told you to stay in your room. But, Mrs. Burnside, it's a quarter past eight, and you told oh, me. Oh, I, I told you to take your pills at quarter past eight. But my calcium pills are in the kitchen. Oh, Annie Mays. Yeah. Is that a member of the family? Darned if I know. It's a member of somebody's family. Yeah. Oh, Doris. I would like you to meet my former secretary. She's a little bit... She's not quite herself at the moment. No. We know all about these women's things, don't we? What's your name, dear? Gooch. You sit right over here beside me, Mrs. Gooch. passed on. Oh, no. I mean your husband. Oh, Mrs. No, 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 no. Oh, Daisy, Daisy, Kelsey, of time, darling. No, no. Piggy, dear. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, there's one thing about my Annie B. She's big-hearted, but if there's ever anybody in trouble, she's... Well, uh, I can always... see that. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Upson, Mr. Babcock, I would like you to meet my dearest friend, Vera Charles, and the well-known publisher, Mr. Lindsay Wolves. How do you do? I'm charmed oh. to meet you. Oh, I love you. Miss Charles, I've just got to tell you how I adored you and Mary of Scotland. Did you, dear? That was Helen Hayes. Spirits! Uh, Vera, darling, can I persuade you to have a drink? Yes, dear. Yeah, but anything but rum. I've just been to the most awful party where they serve nothing but daiquiris made with honey. Man! Acacia's darling! No fee so tough. No fee so tough. Oh, Lord! 
Oh, uh, Mr. Mrs. Upson, Mrs. Upson, Mr. Babcock, I would like you to meet Mr. Acacia's page. Oh, Patrick's first school teacher here in New York, and a man who had a great deal to do with molding his character. How do you do? How do, you do? Haven't we met before? I don't recognize the face. Acacia's darling, your lotus juice. And he made. Yes, dear, yes, yes. I thought this was going to be a family night. Oh, darling, this is our family. I know, but they're not. Oh, gonna... Mickey, now you're having trouble there, dear. Give her a helping hand, Patrick, please. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lockenbar. Courtesy of the house. Look, I'm all right, but you've got problems enough of your own. Don't I, though? Well, that's a pretty picture, I must say. Yes, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to propose a toast to this lovely young couple as they start up the ladder of life together. Oh, no, 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 Annie Vera. <laughs> this isn't Gloria. That's Gloria. Pity. Uh, Mame, I brought you something. What is it, Lindsay? Now, be careful. The ink's still wet. My book! Look, look, everybody. I'm in print, just like Edna Ferber. <laughs> Annie, Mame, uh -huh. you did it. I never knew you went on with it. Patrick, you have vision. The way he managed it, Mame, he's just like you. Oh, my little lifesaver, Patrick and Lindsay. Yeah, this has been a great day. Patrick, you old meanie, why didn't you tell me your aunt was literate? <laughs> Mame. Am I mentioned in your book? Mentioned? You're exposed. <laughs> Let's drink a toast to Live, Live, Live by Mame Dennis Burnside. Well, step right up now, folks, and get your red hot chapters. <laughs> you know, I've been to so many wonderful parties here, Mame. Now I'm going to find out how they all ended. <laughs> hey, I forgot about that time we almost got caught in the speakeasy way. Remember, I was about 10 then. <laughs> <laughs> and here's all about the roller skates and Uncle Bo. And that Christmas, we were so broke. Patrick, my little Patrick. Miss Burnside, you could practically write a whole book about what happened to me. Well, I beg your pardon, Gloria? I said you could practically write a whole book about what happened to me. Oh? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. Bunny Bixler and I were in the semifinals, the very semifinals, mind you, of the ping pong tournament at the club. And this ghastly thing happened. We were both playing way over our heads, and the score was 29-28. And we had this really terrific volley, and I stepped back to get this really terrific shot. And I stepped on the ping pong ball. <laughs> oh, I just squashed it to bits. And then Bunny and I ran to the closet of the game room to get another ping pong ball, and the closet was locked. Imagine. <laughs> we had to call the whole thing off. Well, it was ghastly. Well, it was just ghastly. <laughs> But it was the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> what is? Your story. I'm so proud. The whole last chapter is all about me. Fighting the stigma of the unwed mother. Mr. Upson, you lucky devil. Your future son-in-law is heavily featured in one of the raciest books of the year. Hey, Patrick, I had no idea how many times you unzipped me and put me to bed. No, just a minute. There are young people here. Oh, well, Mr. Upson, I only did it when Miss Charles had passed out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well. <clears throat> Thank you, Eater. Oh, now, don't tell me she can't come. Who? Who Who can't come? That divine woman with the snakes we met in Paris last snakes. week. She promised to entertain after dinner. Oh, Vera, loan me your glasses. Uh, read a forthcoming publication of our book. Hereby serve notice that I'm entitled to one half of royalties for invaluable services. As editor and co-author... Brian! Brian! 
We'll return in a few days to claim fruits of collaboration. My claim will be substantiated by my wife, Agnes Gooch O'Banion. Wife? Agnes, think, Agnes, think. Think? Uh, try. Oh, oh. Maybe that wasn't a movie we went to. Maybe that wasn't Gary Cooper. It was Brian. And the girl was... Me! Agnes! I'm a bride! Oh, darling, congratulations. Oh, you angel. Oh, you're always been wonderful, Patrick. Oh, darling, I'm so happy for you. Honey, isn't this terrific? Patrick, this is revolting. How can you have anything to do with people who... Who, who aren't absolutely top drawer? Come on, Gloria, these are my oldest friends, people who brought me up. A bunch of riffraff. I only hope when we're married you won't invite people like this to our house. Who will be coming to our house? Bunny Bixler and Muriel Puce? What's wrong with Muriel Puce? Nothing, except she has the IQ of a dead flashlight battery. And as for your other adult-pated girlfriends, there are a lot of vain, selfish, empty bigots. Well... <laughs> Mame, it's marvelous. You're going to make a fortune out of this book. She certainly will, but not for herself. Mames assigned all of her royalties to the Epstein home in Mountebank. Epstein the cellist? What's that about Mountebank? Well, can't the Epsteins afford their own home? Vera, they're not going to live there. They're building a home there for refugee Jewish children. What's that? Oh, no! Oh, no. Jackpot! Some time. Come, Glory. You. You. The Claude. 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 Don't, don't be hasty. Claude. 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 Oh. For nine years, maimed Dennis Burnside, I have done everything in my power to protect this boy from your idiotic, cockeyed nincompoopery. And now you've ruined everything. All my plans for Patrick your, have just gone Your out. plans? I mean, really, you, you have the bill affair, haven't you? And you're, you're shouting orders for everyone. Did it ever occur to you this boy might be hungry for something you've never even heard of? When Patrick first walked into my life, uh, Frightened little boy, hanging on to Nora's hand. It was love at first sight. For nine years, I've tried to open some windows in his life, and now all you want to do is shut him up in some, well, some safe deposit box. Well, I won't let you do that to my little one. Oh, no. He's not little anymore. And he's not mine. But he's not yours, Mr. Babcock. Patrick won't allow you to settle him down in some dry, veined, restricted community. Make him an Aryan from Darien and marry him off to a girl with braces on her brains. <laughs> Mame, did you deliberately plan all this? Don't be ridiculous, Vera. You know Patrick always makes all his own decisions. A rattlesnake, anyone? Thank you. Lady Iris. Charm. Lord Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> 